Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I'm just here to do a quick little who's coming towards you. This is for May. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for singles. So you're single. Because if you're couples, you shouldn't be wondering who's coming towards you. You know, in, in case, unless you don't have any integrity and you don't have the balls to get out of the relationship first. I mean, some people do that, right? Anyhow, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, singles. Who is coming towards you? Ooh, perhaps a commitment. Happiness could be a Taurus. Commitment. Somebody that, you know, you could end up marrying in the end. I mean, could be a Taurus. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know. It's probably an earth sign. Could be. But, I mean, this person is focused on everything but love right now. They may not be aware, or you may not be aware, they may not, somebody may not be aware of the connection. Maybe this is somebody you work with and they're not focused on love and you guys get together and, you know, who knows what happens. But the judgment card reversed, there's lack of awareness here. Wow. Somebody is holding on to a dead end and it needs to be, it could be a dead end commitment. So some of you are probably watching this and you're in a dead end commitment that needs to be released. That's what that is. Got somebody that's very well suited. This person could be a little bit younger than you. This is an exciting opportunity to start a new adventure with somebody. Um... This is pretty exciting, okay? You could be easily distracted by this person. There could be a, like an instant attraction that you feel. Um, hmm. But there is a low self-confidence here, low self-esteem. Um, somebody's thinking negatively. Reluctant to move on, stuck, needing to get unstuck because they got a better suitor. So, Cancer, I'm here to tell you that some of you have somebody that's very well suited for you, you know, that could help you to get to a better place. But some of you are still hung up on a commitment that there's no chance of reconciliation on. So, I need to really make that clear. It's funny that I said those exact words at the beginning. Some of you are holding on to hope that there's going to be a reconciliation when you have somebody that's better suited for you, okay? you got to find that confidence and that self-esteem to swallow your pride and hold your head up high and get unstuck from somebody that is distracting you from happiness because you have an opportunity for happiness here <laughs> if you could focus on the future and not the past. Some of you are wasting your time hoping for a reconciliation with somebody that has probably is no longer holding on to you. So, cancer. Oh my goodness. So who is coming towards you? You know, you have somebody that's better suited for you that could uh, lead you down a new path that is this person is probably younger. This person is exciting. This person um probably has a lot in common with you but you have to give them a chance and it feels like you're not giving somebody a chance or you're not willing to give somebody a chance because you're so hung up you're so hung up on your visions of not being able to let go of what you've been hung up on you know what I mean you've got these visions that you can't let go of <coughs> You're holding on. Somebody's holding on to a dead end commitment. You know, there's not even a commitment there, but there's like there's hope, reluctant to move on. You do have somebody that's better suited. So, you know, you could there's some some you may get an invite or you may get 
uh, message that excites you, but then there's lack of confidence and there's lack of knowing what you're worth and being stuck on, you know, hope that there's going to be a reconciliation. I'm here to tell you that you, ha you have an exciting opportunity being presented to you, but you're reluctant to take it. You're reluctant to take it because of a dead end that you're holding on to you're wasting your time somebody's gonna want you to give them a chance you know and it could lead to happiness it could lead to commitment if you could open up your mind and not be so stubborn don't don't doubt your worth please because you're worth more than somebody that isn't moving in your direction put it that way um you guys are holding on to some past pain you're hurting this is pain this is hurting this is suffering this is mourning and you have an opportunity to go down a new path um you have options you have to choose what do you want you have to make a decision you will be forced with a decision you know or faced with a decision can you can you let go can you release can you let release the dead end can you can you can you wake up i mean because you you have an opportunity to basically basically go out on a date with somebody or meet up with somebody or choose another option or it's like you're going to be presented with a choice okay but you but the hurt that you are still holding on to the hurt that you are still holding on to is causing you to delay moving on you're wasting your time holding on to something that once made you happy that is no longer moving forward you have a better opportunity so you are going to receive an invitation or uh, good news or a message from somebody that could potentially help you to get unstuck it could help you to you know see the light see the truth i mean this is something becoming revealed this is a this is the truth coming out you know this is a something hidden that is coming to the surface so i really feel like you are about to be presented with some sort of opportunity to move in a new direction after holding on to something that you've been in denial you've been reluctant to release now you have this new suitor that has come into your life or is coming into your life and they want to help you or they will give you the opportunity to basically choose them this could lead to a long-term commitment if you would allow yourself to move forward away from <clears throat> the dead end somebody is basically allowing their own self-loathing and self-doubt to hinder a new connection There is a new connection here. Let go of the pain. Let go of the person that hurt you. I think that you have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. could be a Pisces you could be dealing with a Scorpio you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius somebody is wasting their time not accepting the truth when there is an opportunity to start over you know start on a new adventure if you could choose 
you got to choose wisely. You're going to have to make a decision. What Do you want to stay stuck? Or are you ready? Are you ready? Somebody has been resisting change. Are you ready? Are you ready to accept the truth that you have a better opportunity here? Anyway, Cancer, it's time to take back control of your life. It's time to break that bond. That unhealthy bond that you have been in denial about. Take back control of your life. So I feel what's coming towards you. You're probably going to receive a message or an invitation. It's good news from somebody that is very well suited with, for you. And you are going to have to make a choice. Are you ready? Are you ready to break the bond that you have held on to for so long? Because this is somebody that is very well suited for you. They are probably a little bit younger than you. It could lead to commitment. The choice is yours. There's no chance in reconciliation with whoever this dead end is that you're holding on to. My advice is to let go of that pain. Let go of that hurt. Stop wasting your time and take back control. So, Cancer, I feel like you're going to receive some sort of invite. Could be an invite to, you know, who knows. Could be anything. Could be to go out on a date. Could be anything. This is an invitation of some sort. My advice is to go. Go. There's no need to hang around and waste your time another minute. Go. That's what I got.